The terms 10W40 and 10W50 refer to multigrade engine oils classified under the SAEJ 300 viscosity grading system. The 10W component stands for winter viscosity, indicating that both oils behave similarly at low temperatures. This means they maintain sufficient fluidity at cold start conditions down to minus 25 degrees Celsius, minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit, meeting the cold cranking and pumping criteria. The second number, 40 or 50, represents the oil's viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, essentially how thick the oil remains when the engine is at normal operating temperature. A 10W50 oil is thicker under high heat conditions than a 10W40, offering enhanced protection in extreme environments or high-performance applications. When it comes to cold start performance, both 10W40 and 10W50 are equivalent. Since they share the same winter rating, they flow similarly during startup in cold conditions, ensuring engine lubrication during those critical first seconds. However, their behavior diverges significantly at higher temperatures. 10W50 oil maintains a higher viscosity at operating temperatures, making it better suited for high load or high temperature scenarios where oil thinning is a concern. This makes 10W50 preferable for engines that operate under extreme stress, such as in towing, racing, or desert climates. In terms of shear stability, 10W50 oils generally offer better resistance to viscosity breakdown, particularly if they are formulated using high-quality synthetic base oils and fewer viscosity index improvers. This means they maintain their protective film better over time, especially in engines that see prolonged high speed or high temperature use. Volatility is slightly higher in 10W50 oils, leading to marginally greater oil consumption or burn-off, which can influence emissions. Conversely, 10W40 tends to have better fuel economy and lower evaporative losses due to its lighter viscosity. Regarding engine wear protection, 10W50 typically excels in scenarios where high mechanical stress is present, offering a more robust lubricating layer. However, for modern passenger cars and engines designed around tighter tolerances, 10W40 is more than sufficient and often recommended. Compatibility with engine types varies. 10W40 is widely suitable for modern gasoline and light-duty diesel engines, whereas 10W50 is favored for high-mileage engines, performance vehicles and motorcycles, particularly those with wet clutches or air-cooled designs. Fuel efficiency is another point of distinction. Thicker oils such as 10W50 increase internal friction slightly, which can reduce fuel economy. While this is a minor trade-off in performance applications, it can be a concern in daily driving where economy is prioritized. Still, the fuel penalty is modest and often outweighed by the benefits in durability for specific use cases. For climate considerations, both oils perform well in temperate regions. In cold winters, both will flow effectively during startup, although 10W40 might have a slight advantage in extreme cold due to its lower high temperature viscosity. In very hot climates or under heavy loads, 10W50 is preferable because it retains its viscosity and protects engine components from thermal breakdown. In moderate conditions with everyday driving, 10W40 remains ideal due to its efficiency and balance of performance. In daily commuting vehicles, especially newer models with modern engine technology, 10W40 is often the preferred choice due to its compatibility with OEM specifications, cost effectiveness and improved fuel economy. For high-performance sports cars, turbocharged engines or tuned vehicles operating at high RPMs, 10W50 offers better film strength and protection. Off-road vehicles and heavy-duty trucks benefit from 10W50 due to the increased thermal load and mechanical stress they experience. Motorcycles, particularly those with integrated transmissions and wet clutch systems, often perform better with 10W50 as it resists thinning under high RPM and shear conditions. Commercial trucks that are older or experience high oil consumption can also benefit from 10W50, although 10W40 remains standard for many light-duty diesels. Manufacturers vary in their viscosity recommendations. Toyota and Honda typically prefer 5W30 for fuel economy, but allow 10W40 in warmer climates. Ford recommends 5W20 or 5W30 for modern engines, but approves 10W40 for high mileage or older engines. BMW's M-Series 
known for high performance engines, often specifies 10W60, but 10W50 is a logical alternative in milder performance applications. KTM and Harley Davidson routinely recommend 10WW50, especially for air cooled or high revving motorcycle engines. Selecting between 10W40 and 10W50 depends on your engine's design, the climate you operate in, and how you use your vehicle. If you drive a modern car in a temperate or cold environment and want to maintain factory warranty and fuel economy, 10W40 is the right choice. If your vehicle is older, operates in extreme heat, is used for towing, or is a high revving motorcycle or performance car, then 10W50 offers the extra protection you need. Although 10W50 oils may be more expensive, they provide superior thermal and mechanical stability, which can prevent wear in more demanding conditions. 10W40 oils are generally less expensive, offer better fuel economy, and meet most standard automotive needs. However, they may not maintain viscosity under prolonged heat or heavy load. On the other hand, 10W50 oils are better at handling extreme conditions and protecting engines under stress, but come at a higher cost and may slightly reduce fuel efficiency. One common misconception is that thicker oil is always better. In reality, too thick an oil can reduce efficiency, fail to flow quickly during cold starts, and exceed the tolerances designed into modern engines. Another misunderstanding is that all oils with the same W rating behave identically in all temperatures. While cold start performance is the same, their behavior once the engine warms up is quite different. It's also important to understand that not all 10W50 or 10W40 oils are created equal. Base oil quality and additive packages have a significant impact on real-world performance. Both oils are typically available in full synthetic or synthetic blend formulations, and should meet important industry certifications such as APISP or previous SNSM, ILSAC GF6 for passenger cars, and ACA a 3 B4 or E7 for European and heavy-duty vehicles. High-quality products will also specify high-temperature high shear HTHS values and meet OEM standards such as MB229.3, VW505.00, or BMW Long Life ratings. These certifications are crucial for ensuring that the oil meets durability, fuel efficiency, and emissions standards. For general automotive use in moderate climates, and for drivers seeking a balance of efficiency, affordability, and engine protection, 10W40 is the go-to choice. However, if your driving involves high temperatures, extended load conditions, racing, or if you own a high-performance or high-mileage engine, then 10W50 is a strategic upgrade worth the investment. Ultimately, always match your oil choice to your engine's design, the climate you operate in, and your specific usage demands. Properly selected, both oils can offer excellent protection when formulated to meet modern standards.